up in Harlan, Kentucky, there's an old back road called Red Dog Road. You don't ever want to get lost on it. Locals will tell you there's all kinds of unexplained stuff on that road at night. They seen strange red lights flickering tree to tree. Some heard footsteps walking around on that road, on the leaves. Worst of all, a lot of people say they seen the ghost of a haggard old coal miner holding his lantern just to crying and a hollering something fierce. Well, I'm here tonight to say all that stuff is true. I'm going to tell you the real story of the specter of Red Dog Road. One summer, Eldon Parkey did some work for an old tobacco farmer just across the Tennessee border. Farmer paid Eldon a little bit, but he also traded him some tobacco, and he gave him this red dog that just showed up on the farm one day. Well, that dog was meaner than a two-headed snake, so the old farmer was more than happy to get rid of it. But Eldon loved that dog. He took it home, named it Red Dog. Eldon noticed Red Dog only had 38 of the regular 42 dog teeth. Well, he figured the other four of them must still be in some poor fellow's hind end because that dog would bite you just to see what you taste like. The story was, one bite from Red Dog would keep a man's soul from getting into heaven or hell. So didn't nobody ever want to pet it. And come to think of it, nobody ever wanted to pet Eldon either. But Eldon said, you know what, that's the way he liked it. Well, Eldon was actually a coal miner, and one day word got around town that Eldon had found a hunk of gold when he was working underground. Now, that kind of thing didn't normally happen in Kentucky, and anything of value you found was supposed to go back to the company. But Eldon stuck that gold rock in his lunch pail and took it back to his house. He put it in a steel lock box. He set that box right beside Red Dog's bed. Wasn't nobody getting that gold. Most people around Harlan know Eldon kind of had a big mouth, and uh, sure enough, he starts to bragging in town he's going to be a rich man. He took to wearing fancy smelling lotion and telling people he's fixing to buy a new milking cow. A shiny new pocket watch. Said he'd soon have a clean pair of britches for every day of the week. Well, I reckon when R.T. Scoggins heard about it, he didn't like it one bit. R.T. was the foreman at the mine. He said that gold belonged to the mine. Eldon found it while he was on the mine's time and on the mine's property. So R.T. said that gold rock should be in a steel lock box in the mine's office. Well, he decided he'd just better go take it back himself in person. So, one night while Eldon was at the church, R.T. grabbed his shotgun and a big old tater sack and snuck over to Eldon's place down in the holler. It was all dark. But R.T. looked through the front window. He scanned the room all careful-like. They could barely make out the silhouette of Red Dog over in the corner on a blanket. That steel lockbox was sitting right next to him. R.T. lifted his shotgun. He pointed it right at Red Dog. Red Dog didn't move an inch. R.T.'s finger squeezed that trigger. Boom! There weren't no sign of Red Dog nowhere. R.T. didn't see any blood, so he figured he must have missed him. Red Dog got spooked and ran off somewhere. Well, seemed as good a time as any to make his move, so R.T. ran into the house grabbed that steel lockbox, and hightailed it out the door into the night. 
Well, y'all, I don't have to tell you R.T. Scoggins didn't get a hundred yards down the hollow road when all he saw in front of him was a mess of red hair and dog slobber. I mean, Red Dog tore him up in ways ain't no one ever figured out how to put back together. Some people say they found pieces of R.T. over in Tennessee, maybe even Virginia. Of course, R.T. got more than just bit by Red Dog, so he ain't never getting nowhere near the other side of heaven or hell. His soul ain't doing nothing for eternity except wandering around Harlan, Kentucky, crying and hollering. So, you think you're brave enough, grab your own shotgun and an old tater sack, and well, maybe you can get yourself a hunk of gold, or you'll be keeping company for eternity with the shredded specter of R.T. Scoggins way out there on Red Dog Road.